there's a handful of really effective add-ons for Anki that make the whole study experience a lot more effective, lots more fun. And to add them is really simple. You can just go to Tools, Add-ons, Browse and Install. If you click Browse here, that'll open up the web page straight away. So let's just click on the first one here. Installing this add-on is as simple as going down to this number here, copying, pasting into the code box, press OK. And then once you restart Anki, you'll have that add-on. We chose button colors just as sort of an example of some of the aesthetic changes you can make to Anki that are small but noticeable. This add-on just changes again and good to red and green. Having the deck name in the title bar at the top might not sound very useful, but if you've got lots of decks going on at the same time, perhaps later on down the line, it could really come in handy for figuring out where you are. And it also has your user profile name at the top as well, in case you're sharing different profiles with people. Just make sure you're in the right profile. Power format it gives you lots of different options for formatting your cards. In appearance, you can add bullet points, numbers, cross-throughs, links, hyperlinks to websites. You can choose custom headings, add quote marks, even add tables, lots of different options there. Night mode is very cool. If you go to view and click on night mode, it makes it a lot easier on the eyes. Combine this with flux, you're good to go. And you can also customize the colors of everything in this as well. For the advanced previewer, if we go to browse, we can see how that works. Previously, all you could do was press preview, look at the front, next to look at the back. But with the advanced previewer, what you can do is press look at both sides. So we can see both sides at the same time. And we can also preview multiple decks. This way you can see the front and back of a bunch of cards at the same time, making it a lot more efficient. The advanced browser adds a bunch of new options. So before, if you right clicked, we did have a lot to choose from, but now we have what the Anki learning community considers a lot more useful fields to choose from, including the time it takes to answer a question. If you have to plug in for more overview stats and you click on a deck, it will give you all the information regarding where you are, how many new cards left. This is again, really good for motivation. When you start building up your decks and having lots of new cards a day, lots of reviews a day, can't tell you how useful this can be. The imagery sizer really, really comes in handy when it comes to making your word and sentence cards. We advise you to always try and add some really cool images, not only to make the card more interesting, but also more memorable. But there can sometimes be a problem with this. So if you're adding a new card, let's press A, and we're learning a word, something to do with elephant, Maybe this picture makes the card fantastic and makes it really memorable and we don't want to get rid of it, but we also don't want this huge picture taking up loads of space. If you do this a lot, after a while of these building up, it will cause your syncing to take ages. And when you're reviewing, you have to scroll down to see the answer rather than it just all be on the same page, it causes a lot of problems. But if we install the resizer and then we go to tools, image resizer, we can actually set a preferred size for our pictures, a maximum size and it'll automatically resize it when you paste it in. So I might put this at say 300. Okay, and then I'll paste the exact same picture, go to add, paste, and you can see it's a lot smaller. Image occlusion is accessed by the note editor. So let's open that up by pressing A. And then to open up image occlusion, we just choose this little landscape painting here straight away we'll be asked to choose a picture. So I'm just gonna choose this labeled body diagram, so I found, and 
just press the fit button down here and it automatically resizes to the screen. Now, as you can see, there's lots of editing options here. We're just going to focus on what you're going to be using most of the time, which is this little rectangle. The general idea is that you just cover up any words or characters that you want to possibly test yourself on. We could just draw individual rectangles for everyone like this. But if you notice, we're going to end up making slightly different shaped rectangles for each one. And this isn't actually a great idea because the differences in these sizes and shapes might give us a slight hint as to what is the answer. So we don't want any hints at all. So let's get rid of these. And instead, just going to select the original one and press the letter D. Once you've done however many you want to do, to add the actual cards, all you need to do is go down to the bottom here and select Hide All, Reveal One. These are your three different adding options. Hide All, Reveal One will generate cards where all the labels will be hidden on the front and then on the back, just the one label you're being tested on will be revealed. Whereas this one on the right will reveal all of them at all times, except for the one that you're being tested on which will give you lots of hints for later on. So we don't really want that one for this particular style of flashcard. So let's choose this one. So what we can now do is go into Browse, Added Today, and then Preview. And that's what it will look like. So you have to guess the red block. And there it is. Now you notice we just put that into the Tone Pairs deck by accident. That's not a problem. I can just select all these. Select change deck, add a new one for shenti, which means body. So what I'll do is take a screenshot of this and then go back into my editor. Let's make a new deck called movie screenshots. Press the editor again, take my screenshot, fit it to size, and this time I'm going to create these little rectangles, but for the characters. You need a bit of a foundation before you can start doing this because there'll be no opinion on subtitles. But maybe, for example, he says here, Xia Mingling, it's not gay Mingling, so that's quite interesting to me. So I could just cover up Xia here, move it in place like that. And if there was another word or character that I want to learn, I could just select this square here, press D, and maybe I'll cover up. Ah, this is quite an interesting phrase. Or as in I haven't or haven't I already? So I could cover that up there. Like that. But this time we don't want to choose hide all reveal one, because we only want to test ourselves on one character at a time. At least most of the time we will want to do that. So this time we'll click hide one reveal all. So we've done that. Let's go into our movie screenshots, browse, enter, preview, and this is what they'll look like. Okay, so that can really be a great way of making sentences combined with pictures for ultimate context and personal connection to your words. So go and have some fun with that one. We've chosen Awesome TTS to be number one for a very good reason. It's probably the most useful and effective add-on for learning languages. Because when, you want, when you're learning a word or learning a sentence, to have the audio is immense help. Once you've installed Awesome TTS, before you start making any cards, just go to Tools, Awesome TTS. There's loads of settings, loads of things you can do. If you want to look in more detail, go and check out the manual on the actual website. But we're just going to change one major setting here. Go to Text. Down here, when it says for a braced close marker, those are your little closed brackets. We need to change the settings here to say replace with deleted text. So that means that when we actually make a closed deletion sentence, it will also read the closed deleted information, which is really important. Now to show you Awesome TTS, I've just installed one of our Mandarin Blueprint Anki decks that we give you later on in the course, Vocab Building. And this actually already comes with pre-done Awesome TTS audio, but I've deleted the first five or six. 
So these one, two, three, four, five, six do not have audio, but all the rest do have an audio file at the bottom. So say you've just made these five cards, six cards yourself. To add the audio, you just go to the very top, Awesome TTS, Add Audio to Selected. Generate using Neo Speech. We find that to be the best one. There's a lots of different ones that you can choose from. Maybe you could try and test them out. Choose a Chinese. Man or woman, let's go for a female, Hong. Source field. So this is the actual Chinese. So we'd want that to come from the word because that's where the Chinese is. The destination could be the pronunciation field. We could save these settings. So that means that every time in the future you want to add new cards, it will just have this same female voice and then just press generate. Now, if you add these in bulk, say you wanted to add 200 cards at the same time, you can absolutely do that, but it will take a while. It has to have a break after every five. So maybe you could just leave it on overnight or go and do something else for a while if you're adding a bunch at the same time. I will let you know as well. If you're doing a load of these together, also if you're adding sentences which are slightly bigger files, some of them will occasionally fail. So after you've added say 100 new sentences and you've added all the audio for them, you might have to go back and check the ones that have failed and just do those again individually. So if we just go through and check this word here. So it's got really nice audio for these individual words. Because certain characters can have different pronunciations, sometimes it will read the incorrect pronunciation for that one. So that's one little thing you've got to be careful of. But other than that, we find it absolutely fantastic. So just make it a little habit. Every time you add new words, add that audio in as well to make the card not only more interesting, but also more memorable.